Hi guys and welcome. Revolution have launched a cheese board set. <laughs> so I thought we would dive into this today, check it out, see what it's all about and then um, pop it on. So yeah, before we dive into that, sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. If you like all things beauty, like our YouTube family does, then hit that subscribe button before you leave and come and join us. We are a lovely bunch. With that being said, make sure you've got a kettle on, you've pulled up a chair and let's go. Now, like I said, iHeart Revolution have launched a cheese board set. Um, this entire set is £20. It's still available on their website. They've had it sort of, I think, released for about three weeks now. I've had it sitting in a bag for about three weeks, <laughs> meaning to um, film it. So yes, it's valued at £20. Um, oh, well, they're selling it for £20, but it's valu valued at 33 And this set comprises of, some of this is so sweet, it's the I Heart Revolution Cheese and Friend Makeup Sponge Duo. Look at that. So we've got a mousy sponge and a cheesy sponge. It's really cute. We have got the I Heart Revolution The Cheese Lip Balm. Now this just looks so, so cute. Look at that. <laughs> the lip balm actually has holes in there as well. It does look like pink cheese and it smells like strawberries. I don't know how practical this is gonna to be to, to apply, but we will be popping some of that on in a minute. We have got the I Heart Revolution The Mini Cheese Shadow Palette. I really do love this packaging, but some of it is a bit, mm, like when you look at this one, I know it's yellow and it's nice, but it would have been nice if this was clear and then sort of like the enhancements around the holes to be um, yellow, you would be able to see it better. And that's what the palette looks like. It's really sweet. You can get a look out of it, which is cool. A bit of fluff blowing around here. You have got the I Heart Revolution, the cheese highlighter set. So there's two highlighters in here and it looks like cheese. <laughs> there we go. I think that one, it looks better because you can actually see through it properly. And you've got two shades in there. So we'll be popping this on in a minute. I'm really excited and I can't wait. And then for the grand finale, there is the I Heart Revolution, the big cheese eyeshadow palette. I love this packaging. It does look like cheese. All the shades are named after anything related to cheese, which I think is really cool. And I think this palette is great for spring. And that's what it looks like. It's all nice and shiny, reflective. It's very cheesy and yellow. Have I taken the cover off? No, I haven't. Let's take it off. And we have got an absolute shed load of colour. Sorry, I'm trying to cover up the mirror. It would be better if I did it that way. Yeah, absolute ton of colour. Um, I am a bit intimidated by this because I'm not a massive colour person, but I'm going to give it a go. I've got another video to film after this, so if I look a bit funny, I'm going to blame it on the cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. I'm going to pop some music on, pop it on, and then we'll come together for final thoughts and... Yeah, kind of like how I usually do it. So is this going to be any good or is it going to be a big stink? Let's check it out.
that's the partial eye look done. Um, I thought we'd pop some of this on before I hop off and do the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll come back and we'll use everything else and yeah finish the eye look off. <clears throat> like I said look at this <laughs> it's just like a block of cheese. I don't know how practical this is going to be to apply but yeah here goes. <laughs> um, it's a bit strange the shape sorry I'm trying to apply and talk the shape isn't very practical um, maybe I should try using it upside down it's a little bit better and um, it's breaking off which isn't good yeah I think it's a good idea and it's a novelty. Don't know if I'm going to continue using it. Feels good on the lips though, I like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's really got a tint, but yeah, it's a lip balm. So, you know, it came with the set. I may continue using it, I may not. It's just a bit disappointing that something broke off and yeah. <laughs> it's quite hydrating my lips feel good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hop off camera i'm going to wet these down give them a go and give you my final thoughts on these at the end um yeah so i will see you in a moment so this is where i've got to so far i've got a basic base on lips are on um oh, it's making a little bit pinky i've gone for way more color on the eyes than i normally would <laughs> which is quite cool browser on so i thought we'd pop this on together in real time so it's the iHeart Revolution, the cheese highlighter. So there's a pinky one. So I'm waving my brush around. And sort of like a very light kind of champagne-y kind of shade. So I thought I'd give these both a quick swatch. And then we'll pop them on together and see how they work. Yes, yeah, so we kind of got like a nice pinky, a nice kind of lighty champagne-y colour. I'm going to go for the lighty kind of champagne one um, out of the two. I may use the other one on the eyes or around the eyes. We will see. But let's see how these apply. Um, it felt quite creamy on the swatch. How's it looking? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're kind of like opaly icy. I quite like that. A massive amount of glow. Really, really nice. Um, how's it applying on this side? Yep, quite like that. A bit down the nose. Always go down the nose. And what's left on my brush goes kind of on my forehead. Excuse that spot. That is right there. It won't cover up, but look at that. I like that. Um, the cheesy mouse sponge. So I always go over and just kind of press it in and just dub it down a bit because that is just... Right, I'm not going anywhere today. I had to throw my hair up because the headband was absolutely driving me crazy. So yeah, I quite like that. It's quite nice. It's a highlighter, it's there, it's it's glowing, which is cool. Um, I'm going to speed through the rest of the eyes and then um, we'll come together for a final thoughts, I think. Sorry, I'm just removing these swatches. So yeah, I shall see you in a moment. Editing me here. Um, as I'm trying to put this video together, I've noticed that for some bizarre reason, my camera did not record me using the small um, mini cheese eyeshadow palette to do under my eyes. I have no idea. I definitely clicked record, so I don't know where that footage has gone. I am so sorry. So um, what I will do is I will probably pop that little palette in a get ready with me or if you wanted to see it, just drop me a comment below and I will throw it in a video somewhere. Um, but yeah, I apologise. <laughs> so here's the finished look. Um, overall, I'm quite pleased. Um, the Big Cheese Eyeshadow Palette. I use the shades Mozzarella, um, Brie and String. String was the darker one um, that I used on the outer corner. It took a little while to build it up and it was a little bit difficult to blend. Um, I have got a little bit of patchiness going on here and I can't get rid of it. So yeah, um, maybe that was a bit of a hit and miss shade. 
um, this shade here, absolutely gorgeous. It's a lot more kind of orangey than I thought it was. So I've gone kind of like pink and orange, which kind of clashes a bit, but hey ho, it's all cheese. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna play with this palette a bit more, I think. If you wanted to see more looks using some of these more brighter colors, then drop me a comment below. But yeah, on the whole, this was okay. Um, you know, it, I think with like most um, I Heart Revolution shadows, uh, amongst the palettes themselves uh, quite a lot of the shades can be hit and miss but i'm quite pleased with the look that i created it's colorful i don't normally go for color um the mini cheese i used under my eyes the shades that i used were okay they were a bit meh um i think this palette looks a bit mm, you know they could have made it a bit different to that one um which would have been nice these two shimmers are quite similar um and they're not totally there you know finish the under eye look but i'm not overly thingied with it so um i'll continue to play with it a bit more i might create a look with this all by itself so i will see the highlights palette i really liked um it's there <laughs> i am like glowing to the gods i used it to complete the eye look as well as i always highlight um my inner corners and i kind of always bring it across the lid yeah used both shades really liked it so i will definitely continue to use that the lip balm it is a bit finicky to use but it did hydrate my lips so i quite like it i think there was a slight pinky tint to it as well it smells like strawberries which i really like I, I was just a bit disappointed how like the end bit there just broke off but yeah um i suppose as it wears down it might be a bit easier to use absolutely love the packaging it's so cute it's just a little cube of cheese which is really sweet and the sponges these are very strange um the little mouse here feels like a normal blender which is cool it's great to use i really liked it it's not absolutely jumbo but it has grown in size it looks like a mouse it's really cute so i will continue to use this the cheese is a bit strange um it feels like foam so under the eyes it was a bit finicky i could get there because of the angles and you can kind of squeeze it and get quite small so it was okay but i used it to contour with and i really liked it yeah because the angles it, it's got really sharp angles so you can just get in there and you can just use the, the one small edge which is really cool so yeah i definitely will continue to use those so on the whole, it was okay. Um, I don't think it was a big stink and it didn't leave a nasty, stinky taste in my mouth, which is quite cool. So yeah, I will link the collection down below. So if you wanna go and check it out, feel free. But I think for 20 pounds for the set, I thought that was really good value. So yeah, um, I don't know if I recommend it or not, but if you wanna go and check it out, if you like the look, then feel free, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the fence with it all still but yeah there certainly were items that I really do like so yeah <laughs> I had to throw my hair up because the headband was sliding off and it was driving me crazy so yeah thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon in the meantime lovelies please take care bye bye